Okay, let's do part two of the news roundup. Firstly, uh, Reuters has, has leaked that the US plans to transfer $80, $80 million in military aid to Taiwan in yet another escalation against China. And the Daily Telegraph is reporting that the US plans to deploy two squadrons of F-35s to England in the winter. I mean, these are warmongers and we are letting this be. I don't see any of this stuff coming from the other side. I don't see China desperately trying to stake its claim on various foreign lands and set up military installations and so on. I mean, America's just making it very clear that it considers the UK and EU and now Taiwan, bizarrely, as vassal states of America. Uh, British mercenaries died fighting on the Ukrainian side. Big loss. Sergei Lavrov has headed to Turkey to discuss various things, including perhaps a grain deal part two, although he said that there hasn't been enough put in place for the Russians to feel secure in that. But this does show that although Erdogan is clearly not flavour of the month still, that the Russians are still keen to work with Turkey, which I think is really, really good. Um, <laughs> US Senator Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has been medically evaluated and given the go-ahead to continue with the schedule as normal. I'm really considering just becoming a doctor in the US because I can't imagine that these people are very well trained given they've also given Biden the go-ahead and these two guys are the very epitome of what not being in full faculties means. This I found interesting. The UK have ordered the closure of more than 100 schools in England just days before the start of the academic year amid a high risk of collapse. Now, there are obviously infrastructure issues, but why is this only just being recognised just before the new term? Uh, we've just had the downing of a number of flights around the world, meaning many students can't get back to the UK to start school on time. And of course, we all remember the COVID debacle where they closed all the schools. Are they are they trying to phase out schooling? Is that where we're going with this? Because that's how it looks to me. China's commerce minister has urged the US to drop discriminatory sanctions against this country and give equal treatment to Chinese firms. Have you ever heard the, the Chinese say any different? Please treat us equally. This is the difference between the US and China. The US wants world domination and China wants equality. That's the, that's the real key here. <laughs> Joe Biden is asking Congress for an additional 24 billion in security, economic and humanitarian assistance to get to Ukraine through next year. 24 billion. And yet over 200,000 people remain without power after hurricane ravages Florida and Georgia. And of course, what's happened in Maui, but there is absolutely no focus on the US government to supply any aid to these people. In fact, they've gone in and built big fences around people's land in Maui so that they can compulsory purchase the land, rebuild it for rich billionaires. And um, it's just absolutely disgraceful that they are even thinking about sending money out of the country when this sort of stuff's going on in the country. Spanish island of Tenerife have estimated the damage caused by the worst fire in the last 40 years, 80.4 million euros. Spanish media reported on Thursday, citing government sources. Where is the outcry about the inability of the Western governments to actually provide decent responses to fires? Fires can start for any number of reasons, and I know there's a lot of theories about what started them and everything else, but what really strikes me is that there doesn't seem to be any focus on policy to make sure that the response to these fires is adequate and saves people's lives and homes. Ukrainians have completed training on Abrams tanks, finally, and they're expected to get 10 of 31 promised tanks uh, by mid-September. I'm sure they'll make excellent target practice. That's about it for today. I, I just seriously hope that there is some outcry in the West. 
you know, I, I, I seem to find that, yeah, I get a lot of followers from Africa, a lot of follow followers from various parts of the world. But Westerners that I speak to, there's very much a huge divide. And I, you know, I, I say this with all the love that I can. This is not just a battle against Russia or against China. This is a battle against us. This is our livelihoods, our homes, our culture being eroded by a very, very select few group of people. And the only way we can combat that is by understanding it and knowing it. So I, I do seriously hope that with this Grant Schnapps guy being put in and with Biden apparently running for another term and men like Mitch McConnell being given the go-ahead to stand and have strokes on stage and then be injected with stimulants to make him um, stand up again. I really, really hope that people start realising what's going on here and what our militaries are being used to defend, because it's not us, it's energy companies and their hegemony over small countries and so on. This is... This is a war against us and we have to be able to put perhaps our our political differences aside and maybe get on with changing that narrative before it significantly impacts us and our families. I, I hope that that rings true and um, God bless everyone affected by fire, war and all the other mad stuff that's going on in the world. Let's hope that the future's a bit brighter.